All right, continuing. Oh, I see. Nashville Street View Cam. All right, so this allows it, the unlock means it'll, uh, you know, move to different versions, so that's cool. All right, so this is Nashville. What next? We got Fifth Avenue. I like that. This is actually a pretty cool teaser. Two Times Square. I like this feature a lot. Oh my god, where's this? Where was that? New Orleans Cats Meow St. Crux? St. Crux Cam. <laughs> Croy Cam. St. Croix. And, uh, looks like K-West Cam. I almost said Kanye West Cam. <laughs> no, K-West Cam. Alright, so, that's nice. Uh, I want to know where my game is that I downloaded. So, let's see, uh, go back to the menu here. Oh, customize? Title. Nice. Customize app and display for display uh, add. Oh, we can actually, oh, we can add it? Or it's adding a catalog. Oh, okay. Well, uh, this thing has to load. It's kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? I'm not waiting for that. Let's go home. All right. Sitka cam. Some ice in the background. And the game that I got should be already downloaded on here. To my knowledge, I, I believe. Hmm. I got the game. You guys saw me get the game. Then you... Menu. Uh, themes and apps, browse apps, loading catalog. All right. Loading catalog. Oh, I should time this thing. Hmm. Alright, I'm not gonna sit here all day and wait for this catalog thing to load. Although I, li I like this. This. The, the Earth Cam. It's cool. It's giving us live stuff. Settings. Uh huh. So look, we can make a full screen or an interval. Ah, you can set what it does. All right, so change every 30 seconds. Yeah, two, no, I'm sorry, 15 seconds, that's good. And it's actually a website, so you can actually go on and check out it, check it out. And it has a lot of areas done. Here's the capital, but yet it's raining, so you can't see anything. And, uh, yeah, videos. Hold well, on, I want to see this. Search videos. Oh, this is Sony Internet Video, okay. I see. Uh, alright, well, I think I pretty much broke it down through everything. Um, so in conclusion, the Sony Dash is a pretty, pretty interesting device. Uh, I can see this thing definitely uh, making the clock radio uh, basically obsolete and everyone has this sort of like new plan or scheduler thing. Um, design wise, well, uh, it's nice. It's, you know, not incredibly, it's kind of thick. I mean, hold on. This is the thickness of it right here so you know it's a uh, it's an okay size to it I mean here's here's what it looks like on the back it just says uh hold on 
just says Sony on the back here and it's piano black and then I guess some other speakers and stuff on the top here those are your buttons I was pressing the uh, snooze and the uh, volume up and down button and then on the side here we got your you know USB thing right here that just it's a pry thing you have to pry it off and then right here on the top you have piano black finish nice some more stereo speakers right there seven inch uh, touchscreen uh, with a 480p resolution or 480 by 800 resolution to be more exact um, I believe that's how I believe that's how much my phone has actually the same that resolution something like that um, so anyway in conclusion um, design is nice so I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give the design a pretty good rating too uh, the contents, well, it pretty much is ready right off the bat. You have your dash and your power cord, and that's it. And then it's a couple, you know, manuals and paperwork. So, yeah, I mean, here's the box. You know, we unboxed it all. You guys saw it right from the uh, plastic, you know. Um, startup, we got it all pretty much ready and started up with around 15 and 20 minutes. 15 or 20 minutes. So, uh, you know, that startup time was uh, pretty simple. Um, signed up. I do like the fact that you don't have to download anything on here. At least I don't think you do. I like how uh, you can just have it, you know. I like how, uh, you know, you can just go on the Sony Dash well, website and uh, pick an app that you want to download it. However, I don't know where my game is. Uh, that should be somewhere here, I think. I, I selected my apps, but no. Yeah. I don't know if I'm in the wrong place or not. Whatever. Uh, volume up and down. Yep. It's, this thing can be really loud if it, if you want it to. So, uh, what is, is 30, 30 is the max? 30 is the max. So, I'm going to just lower this to 15 halfway. Or actually, let's do 16. 16 is probably better. There we go. Alright, so, uh, yeah. It's a good, I can see this definitely working out for people who have lots, lots of things to do and like wake up and they want to, they immediately need to check their emails. I mean, if you don't, this is basically like a mini, mini laptop slash media streamer. Uh, you have your emails, you can check your emails. I just personally haven't got this thing all set up and, you know, awesome, you know, everything right off the bat. I like the themes, the PlayStation theme is pretty cool. Definitely, uh, it was awesome for Sony to add that. And uh, overall, do I think this is a good device well i don't know what the price is so i have no idea let's go check out what the price is this is this was actually a gift all right so let's go on uh sony style.com and let's see how much these retail for uh we got entertainment oh here is store Hold on one sec, why don't I just look this up? Well, it's being gay right now on your internet. Here we are. Um the dash, where's dash? PlayStation, no home theater, television, entertainment, is it gonna be an entertainment? I don't know where this thing is actually. I think I have to search for it here. Dash. Sony Dash. Here we are. Oh wow, that's actually not really bad. All right, so this thing retails for a hundred and thirty dollars, one twenty nine ninety nine. Um, pretty cool. You know, I have to say, right off the bat, this thing is uh pretty low priced. Um, you get, again, this is only made for certain people. I think this really goes into the, the business category and stuff like that. But this is, um, pretty cool. It's a cool device. $130 is actually pretty cheap. I'm surprised. So given the price and what it can do, and it can also like, you know, play little flash games. You can watch TV shows, listen to music, browse your photos, uh, get all your headlines and information. Given all that, I'm going to give this device a, uh, 
an 8 out of 10, all right? And the uh, reason it's an 8 out of 10 is because uh, the only problems I really have with it is that its resolution is kind of low. I would have liked to see like a 720p resolution on a 7-inch touchscreen. I think they could have done that. Touchscreen features is okay. I mean, it, lo it isn't really excellent. You have to see, I mean, like I was trying to scroll there and it selected a thing. So I, I didn't really like that. Um, so I, the touchscreen could have been made better. Um, it's kind of slow. It takes, like, there's loading and stuff like that. Um, so I would have liked, like, a faster processor. But, um, yeah, overall for the price, uh, not a bad thing. However, I can only see this catering for some people who want this sort of thing all in one. You know, I can't see this base, this thing, uh, basically, you know, having everyone want one of these. Because it really isn't anything special. It's just, uh, it's a cool little device that only handles for some people. All right. So yeah, 8 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed the hardware review. It's always nice to do these once in a while. And uh, I will let you know if I uh, have any more uh, hardware reviews to do. But um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. 8 out of 10. Not bad for $130. Not bad at all.